Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, some interesting benchmarks were done by Qualcomm. And um, they actually showed the power of the Snapdragon X Elite. And we talked about it last week that this promises to be a amazing chip that might actually put finally the um, Windows ARM PCs um, on the forefront. So they wanted to show that they're not joking around when they say that the chips are powerful. So they did a bunch of benchmarks, including benchmarks of the Snapdragon compared to other Intel and AMD uh, chips. So this is kind of nice. Of course, you see here that their tests are really uh, just, you know, the rest of the competition is even there. So this is kind of cool. They also used this and tested their device with um, M2 chips from Apple. Now you might notice there's two configs, config A and config B. And this has to do with the amount of power they're using. So um, config A is that the Snapdragon, or it's called the Orion, is pushed at 80 watts. Now at 80 watts, you need a fan on it to actually work. But they have a second configuration where the chip can be used at 23 watts, and that can be used without a fan. So devices, tablets, PCs can eventually come out without having a fan if they use that config and still have as you see here, a lot of power. So without a fan, it's not as powerful, but it's not far from an Apple M2 chip. But with the fan at 80 watts, you see that it beats Apple's chips. So this is definitely good news, definitely interesting uh, compared to um, the competition. And I think this is going to be fun to know uh, actually what's going to happen in the future uh, with ARM chips. So they're not kidding with their the power of their chips. And what is even more interesting, if we stay in just the field of uh, you know PC chips from Intel, AMD, and so on, to get that power, so to get the top that you see here, the two configs are winning, it actually uses a third of the power that Intel chips will use for the same work load. That means battery life should improve greatly with these ARM chips. So this is very promising. And I think it's going to be very nice to see the first ones that come out. And of course, the other thing is the price point. What will be the price of these? So very interesting compare, very interesting tests, but we'll see in the real world, real tests with real machines eventually what it's all about. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.